So it's the middle of the month and I was looking at my numbers from last year and just trying to figure out um, if I was able to reach my goals in terms of profits, in terms of revenue, and just in terms of gross numbers as a whole. And I realized that one thing that I was able to do uh, periodically throughout the year was pay attention to my average sale price and I was able to increase my average sale price from about $45 to as high as $69 by the end of December. And I was able to do that by just doing a few tweaks and some few changes in terms of my sourcing strategy when it came to sourcing for inventory on eBay. And I realized that I should share these types of tips. I should share these types of information with you guys because everyone on eBay is always trying to figure out how they can make more money, make more profits, and ultimately make more money by doing less work. And I realized uh, since you know becoming a father of two, time is very, very limited for me. And I used to spend a ton of time sourcing going a bunch of different thrift stores and trust me i still do that but i realized that in order to do that uh more efficiently i had to source better and every sale had to make more sense every time something went out because at the end of the day i still had to spend time packing shipping it out taking stuff to the post office and i just had to make sure that you know everything that i was doing was actually worth my time and i was just able to support my family and enjoy what i was doing so i'll share some of those tips with you guys in today's video and without further ado let's get into it at first when i was originally thinking of increasing my average sale price um in january basically in q1 i broke it down just in terms of quarters from january 1st to about march 31st my average sale price was 44 dollars 97 and for those of you that are not familiar with um seeing your metric and seeing your sales numbers and performance numbers um, you literally can just go into the eBay seller hub go into performance go into sales and you should be able to see it right there it literally says your average sale price and I, I remember a few years ago when I first first started selling electronics on eBay I realized a huge uptick in terms of my average sale price when I was primarily selling clothing and shoes on eBay my average sale price was floating right around like 30 to sometimes 35 dollars and once I started selling more electronics like camera gear and audio equipment and things like that, my average sale price started to creep up slowly but surely right around like that $40 mark. So in Q1 um, of last year, my average sale price was $44.97. Around that time, I still had a ton of inventory that was selling for anywhere between $10 and $15. I still had a lot of clothes that were sitting in my inventory. I had a lot of CDs and DVDs and smaller things that was that I that I thought was, wasn't necessarily an issue. A lot of those items that I was selling at the time, the sell through rate wasn't as fast as I would have liked it to be, but I got it for such great deals that it was practically free. And I figured if I'm buying something for say 50 cents and selling it for $10, that's really good money. Especially if you're dealing with volume. For me, every time something would ship out, or I would get a sale and I would be time for me to pack it up. That same amount of time that it takes me to pack up that $10 order would be the same amount of time it would take me to ship out that 60 or $70 item. So I realized that I needed to just try to be a little more efficient, see the different areas in my business that I can improve upon, and that was definitely one of them. So I'm definitely not trying to bash those that sell, you know, items that are like eight to twelve dollars because I see a lot of people that do that and they're making some really good money. Shout out to you guys. But for me, in terms of time, I realized that I wanted my ASP just a little bit higher. So like I said. Q1 was $44.97 and one of the things I implemented just in that first quarter was really just trying to get rid of a lot of those uh, those cheaper items. I stopped sourcing cheaper items at first. I stopped picking up video games. I stopped picking up DVDs unless of course they sold for maybe 30 or 40 bucks. If it had that threshold at like $30, I would still pick it up. But if it was selling for less, regardless of the, the, the price or regardless of how cheap I was able to find it for. I would just pass on it mainly that that way it can condition me to solely focus on more profitable items and that definitely did make an effect so in q2 it went up just about four dollars it actually went up exactly four dollars it went from 44.97 to 48.97 and during q2 i started to implement just a couple more different strategies in q2 i started bundling different items together instead of solely just selling like an xbox by itself i would sell an xbox complete with the connect 
and a controller or maybe a control or maybe the console and I would bundle it with some games as well because since I stopped trying to sell video games separately I would just bundle those games that I had with the console that I was trying to sell so that would just make me you know I would still make the money I would basically just charge an extra ten dollars for that console and just throw the game in there as well and I realized just making those incremental changes was able to slowly increase my ASP. Another tactic that I implemented during Q2 that really told me increase my ASP was doing sales about every other week. And sometimes those sales would be maybe 10% to 15% off. And basically all I would do is just, when I list an item, I would always list that item for maybe five or $10 extra or $10 more than I was actually expecting. And then about a week later, sometimes two weeks later, that item would eventually go on sale for maybe 10% off or 15% off. So it would initially sell for the price that I was expecting it to sell for. But sometimes when you're listing something and you get that nice little boost from eBay with it being a brand new listing, you might sell it for that extra $10 or that extra $5 more than you was expecting. So I realized that by just doing stuff like that, I was able to constantly move inventory. And sometimes I would sell items for just a little bit more than I was initially expecting to sell it for but the main thing was just to constantly keep running those sales on a, on a consistent schedule every one week to maybe two weeks I would always run maybe a 10% to 15% off sale so now in Q3 seen another four dollar jump it went from 48.97 to 52.82 and for most people these four dollar jumps aren't necessarily huge but just from going from Q1 where it was 44.97 to Q3 where it was 52.82 I realized I was definitely on the right track and I was doing things that were important to actually increase my average sale price and I was able to move inventory a lot faster. I also introduced a whole brand new category into my store which was golfing equipment and I realized that by shipping out some of these golf clubs and selling more uh, profitable items especially if you start selling iron sets you can definitely start to ask for more money and of course you're charging for more shipping as well and sometimes if I was shipping out an iron set it might sh it might cost me maybe maybe 10 to $12 and of course I would still charge maybe 17 or $18 for shipping. So I realized by implementing some of those strategies, it definitely helped me increase my average sale price. And what it also did was just in introduce me to a whole different category, something that I usually wasn't paying attention to. It just made me uh, learn a new category, learn a new skill because I started golfing myself and by me learning go learning more about golf, I started to pay attention to more golf clubs and I literally just was able to spot quality golf clubs a lot faster. But just by introducing a new category into my store helped me out a ton. Now in Q4, this is actually when I've seen the biggest increase. In Q4, my average sale price was $66.55 and in the month of December alone, it was $69.97 and during this time of the year of course as we all know that's um, you know gift season it's it's holiday shopping season between uh, November and December when people are you know shopping for Black Friday and Christmas time for, for their friends and their family I was able to continue to run those sales what I what I definitely did during that time was increase my asking price for a lot of items and I just continuously ran sales because I know from prior experience most people they're not shopping for items unless it's on sale during that time of the year Black Friday Friday time, Cyber Monday, it's nothing but deals that people are getting, uh, you know, exposed to. And people want to buy something when they know they're getting a deal, or at least they feel like they're getting a deal. So that was something that I made sure I put a very, very big uh, precedence on in terms of, you know, running my consistent sales, charging a lot more for certain items with the intention of actually running a sale. And I was able to, you know, increase my average sale price during that time. Uh, Q3 did was really good, but specifically December, I seen a huge uptick and I was definitely proud of myself for that. And during that time, I didn't find myself doing too many things different, but at the end of the day, it was a culmination of all of the small tactics that I mentioned uh, from Q1 to Q3. I basically just started implementing all of them and just practiced it a lot more often during Q4 and I was able to increase my average sale price um, by almost $12. So I realized that I had to just increase my average sale price, make more money, and at the end of the day, do a little less work as well. I think it was just adopting that mindset of working smarter and not necessarily working harder. So drop a comment. Let me know 
know if you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you do more of a volume game and you guys sell you know cheaper items but you sell a ton of it let me know if that works for you and let me know if your average sale price is way higher than mine and what some of the tips that you have for me in order to increase my average sale price because I'm always looking to learn uh, some new stuff if you haven't already check out this new video right here this is my last video I put out um, I mentioned average sale price quite a few times in this video I was talking about sourcing and in that particular video I mentioned average sale price a ton of different times so that that just kind of led me into making this video so if you're interested in the best ways in terms of how to source for eBay check that video out right here and I'll see you guys in the next one peace